And I thought I'd show you these rather long, kind of narrow, as you can see by the size of my hand. This is not a small reservoir. It's 15 and a half inches long, two and a half by three. All the edges have been camfered and polished. Half inch sides and end plates with quarter inch top and bottom. Tapped G quarter. Ships with lugs and barbs. No mounting hardware needed on this because it's being clamped to a tech station in a particular way. But they're very nice looking. And uh, they're holding water, of course. That's the important part. Right? These are going to get filled up till they're full. I just had them at this level right now because I was demonstrating this res. I wanted to take a good look at it and I wanted to have a nice low pond level. I wanted to see if I could get down to about an inch, three quarters of an inch for a pond. So these are low. But uh, in a little bit here I'm going to top these off with distilled right up to the tippy top and uh, that will really be a good test of you know whether every seam is holding its water, which I'm sure it is, but I have to do it. I just have to. That's what I gotta do. Good look at these. Now I haven't cleaned these, you know, these are straight off of the buffer with a little wipe down. And then I uh, just peeled the, uh, the top and bottom paper off, which leaves a tiny little bit of residue which you just wipe off with Novus. And, uh, but they are pretty much, I'm trying to see if I can get an angle where you can see the rainbows. Just like a prism, each one of these little edges, if you catch it just right in the light, makes little colors and stuff. The magic, the magic unicorn did not poop on it properly, I guess. It's not doing it. It's not rainbowing for me right this minute, but it was last night. Of course, then again, it could have just been the fumes. But as you can see, it's real interesting stuff because it makes like a shiny, almost silver-like mirror in some regards. And then you have all the little bubbles. And so you can imagine if these things were lit, and I just happen to have a couple of LEDs here, if these were lit, you know, they get pretty interesting looking. They have a lot of real interesting light effects. Let's stick a couple of LEDs up under there and just have a look. Who knew sticking LEDs up under something would be so, so impressive? Just a couple of little tiny LEDs. Anyway. I had fun making them, and uh, apparently I'm going to be making one more like this. And I'm thinking about maybe, just to test it out, making a relatively short one with the ports on the bottom, like somebody would attach to the side of their motherboard, you know, by the motherboard tray beside the motherboard, much like you'd put an EK250 or something. But instead of a cylinder, why not a nice slabby piece. I have a couple of ports on the bottom. I can uh, glue one tube in so that you have that anti-cavitation feature like in the new EKs. And a fill port on the top. That might look pretty neat. A little alternative to the you know cylinder res that you see uh, over and over and over. Which I love them. I love the EK res. I have them on my stuff. But it'd be neat to have something a little different. And this might be it.